welcome to Linux web tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install OpenGTS in Ubuntu. OpenGTS is a first open source web based GPS based tracking system. It is used worldwide in more than 110 countries and it is used in thousands of vehicles. It is used for the entry level fleet and equally for high level tracking system. The OpenGTS supports Google Maps, Microsoft Virtual Earth. Intergeneration with other mapping service provider is possible using the OpenGTS. It is a very popular web based GPS tracking system which is easy and to deploy and cost effective alternative for commercial applications available. Now we can see the installation of OpenGTS in Ubuntu. First run the apt-get update command sudo apt get update now enter the password next you need to install the lamp ant and unzip packages the command is sudo apt get install apache 2 php 5 mysql server lib mysql hyphen java ant space unzip now give enter now give us to download and install the packages this will take some time now we need to enter the password for the mysql root user now give ok and repeat the password and click ok now the packages are installed now we need to start the mysql server the command is sudo slash etc init.d slash mysql space start now the mysql server is started now we need to install the java open jdk 7 the command is sudo apt-get install open jdk iphone 7 iphone jdk now give enter now give s to download and install the packages this will take some time now the packages are installed now we need to define the java home environment so use the export command export java underscore home equal to slash user lib jvm slash java 7 iphone open jdk iphone amd64 now give enter next you need to use the echo command echo double quotes export java you can copy this line paste the path and close the double quotes space double greater than space tilde slash dot bash rc now give enter next we need to install and configure the tomcat now change the directory to slash stem and you need to download the tomcat installation package the download link is here copy the link and paste it in the terminal i'm going to download it using the wget command wget iphone c now paste the download link and give enter now the package is getting downloaded now unzip the downloaded package unzip apache tomcat now give enter now we need to copy the apache tomcat to the directory user local the command is sudo copy iphen a apache tomcat 8.5.5 space user local now give enter now the files are copied next you need to define the catalina home for the apache tomcat export catalina underscore home equal to the path user local apache tomcat now give enter now change the directory to slash user local now we need to link the catalina home to the tomcat directory the command is sudo ln space iphen s space dollar catalina home space tomcat now give enter next change the directory to catalina home slash bin now list the files now you can see the script files that are does not have the execute permission now you need to give the executable permissions to all the script files the command is change mode a plus x asterisk dot sh now give enter now the script files are 
give an executable permission. Now we need to start the Apache Tomcat service. The command is Catalina home slash bin slash startup dot sh. Now give enter. Now we can see the message the Tomcat is started. Now we need to define the home environment for Tomcat. Next command is echo space double quotes export the path Catalina underscore home equal to the path user local slash Apache hyphen Tomcat. Now close the double quotes space double greater than space tilt slash dot bash rc now give enter now the tomcat is configured now we next we need to configure the java connector now change the directory to slash temp and download the java connector the download link is here wget hyphen c the download link now give enter now the java connector is getting downloaded now unzip the mysql connector now give enter now change the directory to mysql connector now list the files now we need to copy the mysql connector java dot jar file to the path jre lib ext the command is sudo copy mysql connector dot jar file space dollar java home slash jre slash lib slash ext now give enter now the file is copied now next you need to download and configure the java mail now change the directory to slash temp and download the package wget iphone c then the download link paste the download link give enter now the package is downloaded now copy the jar file now you can see the java x dot mail dot jar you need to copy the jar file to the directory jre lib ext command is sudo cp java x dot mail dot jar space dollar java underscore home slash jre slash lib slash ext slash now give enter sudo now give enter now the file is copied now we need to rename the java x dot mail with the version name to the java x dot mail dot jar now the command is sudo move dollar java home jre lib ext java x dot mail hyphen 1.5.2 dot jar space java home slash jre lib ext java x dot mail dot jar now give enter now the file is renamed next you need to download and configure the open gts wget iphone c the download link now give enter now the package is getting downloaded now we need to extract the open gts package to the user local directory the command is sudo unzip space slash temp open gts zip space iphone d space slash users now give enter now the files are extracted next you need to change the ownership for the open gts directory sudo change own iphone r the username that you have logged in that is a user one colon sudo space slash user local open gts now give enter now the ownership is changed we need to export export gts underscore home equal to 
the path user local the open gts now give enter now next command is echo double quotes export gts underscore home equal to the path of the open gts space double greater than space tilt slash dot bash rc now give enter you need to close the open gts now give enter next you need to configure the environmental variables and symbolic links echo double quotes export and underscore home equal to slash user slash chat slash and double quotes space double greater than space tilt slash dot bash rc now give enter source tilt slash dot bash rc now give enter now next we need to add the symbolic links the command is sudo ln hyphen s dollar java home space slash user local java now give enter next start the symbolic link for tomcat sudo ln hyphen s dollar catalina underscore home space user local tomcat now give enter next for the gts sudo ln hyphen s dollar gts underscore home space slash user local gts now give enter now the symbolic links are added next you need to uncomment two lines in the config.conf file that is the database username and password now open the configuration file nano dollar gts underscore home slash config dot conf now give enter now we can see the db dot sql dot username file is shashed now uncomment this line and the password line db dot sql dot password now save the file and exit now list the files in the catalina home directory if you see the recursive link file that exists you need to unlink this file the command is unlink slash user local apache tomcat the version then the apache the version now give enter now again list the files in the catalina home now you can see the link is removed now you can start the compilation and initialization process the now change the directory to dollar gts underscore home and execute the command and all now give enter now we can see the message the build is successful next you need to initialize the database bin slash init db dot sh space iphone root user space root user equal to root space iphone root pass equal to the root password of the mysql now give enter now we can see the tables are created we can verify the compilation process bin slash check install dot sh now you can see the installation process completed and you can see no errors are reported you can see one warning we need to use at least 4 gb of ram to avoid this warning but you can see there is no errors are reported next we can add an account and install the track java servlet to add an account use the following command bin slash admin dot sh space account space iphone account equal to the account name i'm going to use sysadmin space iphone pass equal to password you can mention your password here 
space iPhone create now give enter now the account is created next you need to install the track Java servlet and track now give enter now we can see the track.war file is created now we need to copy the track.war file copy build slash track.war space catalina underscore home slash web apps now give enter now the file is copied before opening the open gts in the web browser you need to restart the tomcat so to stop the tomcat can use the following command dollar catalina home bin slash shutdown dot sh now give enter now the tomcat is stopped now we need to remove the web apps track files remove rf catalina home slash web apps track all now copy the gts home slash build slash track dot war to catalina underscore home slash web apps now give enter now we can start the tomcat service dollar catalina home slash bin slash startup dot sh now give enter now the tomcat service is started next install the event java servlet package and space events and copy the build file events dot war to the path dollar catalina home slash web apps now give enter the last package is gprmc and gprmc now give enter now copy the build slash gprmc dot war file to the path dollar catalina home slash web apps now give enter now we can verify the installation again using the check installation command bin slash check install dot sh now give enter now the installation is verified and there is no errors is reported now open the browser and type localhost colon the port number 8080 slash track slash caps t track now give enter now you can see the open gts login page now enter the account name that is created sysadmin now enter the password now click login now you can see the open gts gps tracking is open now you can see the uh, options here mapping reports and administration in the administration you can add your vehicle admin user admin and the group admin and you can map your vehicles here using the mapping option you can map your vehicles and groups here and if you want to add the system accounts you can add here the open gts gps tracking is successfully installed in ubuntu thank you for watching